Hi, today we're going to work on a mirror project, but I'm tweaking it. I'm going to add some ceramic tiles. It's quite beautiful, so let's make one together. Join me. Hi, this is Tweak. Today our project is going to be mirrors. I found a round mirror. It was used at a wedding reception and I had a kick around the house and I thought, you know what, I'm going to take this round mirror. It's copper colored and we're going to make it into something better. I'm going to tweak it. So we're going to take some MDF wood, apply the mirror to the wood and decorate it with ceramic tiles. Project supplies are a mirror, you can find the MDF wood at your home improvement store. That is also where you want to look for ceramic tiles. I purchased three different kinds of tiles and I mixed them all up to create my design. We will also need some glue. I've got a glue to hold down the mirror to the wood and a glue gun to attach the ceramic tiles and some acrylic paint. And that's about it. The rest is all your imagination. So let's go. So to begin with, I have a mirror. It's a 12 inch mirror, 12 inches in circumference. So I need to decide what is my design around this 12 inch mirror going to be. So I got the mirror, got the design laid out, and then I measured for the piece of wood that will go behind it. To measure that piece, I took the circumference of the mirror with the added design, and then the MDF wood was cut out. We did it the old-fashioned way. We took a tack with a piece of string and put it in the center of the board, pulled out the measurement we needed, and went around with a pencil that's attached to the string. And that worked in giving us the circumference we needed to go around our mirror to hold the tiles for our design. Then using the scroll saw, we cut out the circle. then used a drill to add a hole for hanging for later. The hole will be covered up by the decorative tile. Then we sanded all the edges to make the board smooth and to get it ready for some acrylic paint. I've got my MDF wood, I've got my circle, now it's time to paint. But before I do that, let me talk about the tile that I picked. I went to the home improvement store. There are, oh, hundreds of tiles to choose from. So whatever piques your fancy, and I, for whatever reason, was drawn to, I was thinking of a sun theme. What I ended up with was, actually, once you take these pieces off, see they come strip right off the netting that they come on. Now you can just use that piece of tile. So I ended up with four different shapes. And these shapes, I played around with till I got a design that I felt good with. And that's where it starts. You go and look, see what inspires you with the tile, get your idea. Bring them all home and then play with them till you find a design you like. So let's get to the painting part. I chose just a matte black. The wood is very acceptable to acrylic paint and it will show off the tile. So here we go. I am going to dump some paint in here. I could use it right out of the jar, but eh. Let's just do it. This is prettier, isn't it? When you dump it out, it looks all nice and shiny. It does dry to a matte. It is not shiny when you're done. So I'm just going to go around and try to keep my circle there best I can. Give me an idea where the mirror needs, needs to go. I'm going over the line a little bit, but that's okay. This is a big board to paint. Yeah, it'll take a little bit of time, and here we go. As I'm going through the aisle of looking at the tiles, Get an idea of once you find your tile color scheme, what color you'd like behind them. And I use this black because I think it does bring out, even though there's not a color, there's a cream theme going on this one, but it does highlight the color of the ceramics.
the MDF is painted, the paint is dry, and nearly I'm going to place the mirror. Now I left that circumference there so I could get a good idea of where the center would be when I place the mirror. And that's going to look good. So I will use some mirror adhesive. Don't be scared. We're going to go around a few times with this adhesive. So we'll blurp out a little bit. Don't need a lot, but this will definitely hold that mirror in place. Going around. I'm going to move right along. Okay. I want to place the mirror. I'm going by the edge I see closest to me. We have a little bit of wiggle room before the glue sets up. So I'm gonna make sure, I've got my little tape measure here, and make sure that I'm staying as close as I can. We've got four and a half, it looks like. I just check the circumference, because if it's a little, it's off, you wanna just, that looks pretty good to me. I'm just going around to make sure, four and plus, four plus, so if it's off, you can push it. Just maneuver it a little bit get it more centered. And I think that's good. With that being stuck, I'm going to take some black and just go around the edges that I see that I missed. So I'm just gonna come around the edge of the mirror and just catch those little spaces. I don't want any of that MDF to show through. Just the tile, and you can see that the acrylic dries to a very flat matte paint color. And there we go. Set done with paint. Gonna let that dry. So here's the design I came up with. And what I'm gonna do is place them around. This to me is the real fun part is to take the tiles that you have and decide on what design there's gonna be. So I'll give you an idea. I had these little guys. I'm going to put a little circle between each one, a little dot. Let me show you something else before I start gluing. So I take these little guys and I slid them in between the two. The little notches fit together. So I'm going to start gluing. Got my first row set. Didn't that turn out nicely? Oh, I like it. What I don't like are the little strings from the glue guns, but we'll deal with those. And this is where your careful planning. Make sure before you put the glue down is that you've got it all spaced the way you want it to be spaced. So I'm ready to add in the next layer of ceramic tiles to continue on with this design. It's reminding me of a sunshine so let's see, I've got these little guys here and each one is going to fit into the little cradle. And I'm gonna set them out ahead of time because some of them just turn them upside down and for whatever reason they fit into the slot better. Just see what works. See, there's a gap there if I flip it around and it fits more like a, a tighter puzzle piece. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and glue these on. Thank you. 
the next layer done, I'm going to go around in another tile. I chose that tile and I'm going to tuck it in between those two little points, right? Like that. That's going to be so pretty. Before I glue them though, I'm going to make sure the tiles are all right. I'll get it laid out the best I can. That one looked nice. We got everybody in? It looks like my last, next line is done. Time to glue. Got all my tiles placed, the ones I planned on placing, and now I'm trying to get the threads from the glue out. And as I'm doing that, I'm thinking, you know, I've got all this extra tile here. What if I added one more element to my mirror? What if I just put a little round dot repeat pattern up there? And I am liking it. It's very pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Here we go. One more little thing. And up the mirror. The tiles are in place. Isn't that pretty? There you have it. My mirror's done. I know just where I'm going to hang it. So if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Are you going to make one of these mirrors for yourself? I suggest that you do. See you again.